Hi, my name is Claude Shirati, and thank you very much for watching this video. This is the second out of a series of videos that I have published in relation to 3K leadership. If you haven't watched the first video yet, I recommend that you do that. All you need to do is go on Google, uh, YouTube, and type 3K leadership video one, and you'll be able to find that video and watch it. However, if you'd rather continue with this video and then you'll find some time later to watch that first video, that's fine as well. I'm gonna summarize what I said in the first video for you. Essentially, in the first video, I was talking about the mechanics of leadership. I started by saying that uh, every human being has faith, even if you don't believe in God, you still have faith because you have a belief system that is guiding you in how you're leading your life. And uh, we define leadership as linked to motion, to local motion, the ability to move from one position into another. And the mechanics of it means that uh, in order for that movement to happen, there needs to be a drive that creates the movement. There also needs to be some speed that determines how much time you move from one place to another. Then, then there is the, the direction that um, needs to be taken once the movement and the drive are kicking in. The direction will lead you to a particular destination and that destination may end up being your destiny. So if you've been wondering what is your destiny, well essentially your destiny uh, relates to how much leadership you are able to exercise in your own life. That is what I said in the first video about um, 3K leadership. Now, in this second video, I'm gonna be talking about two things. Number one, I'll talk about the concept of self-government, which is quite critical in the overall understanding of uh, 3K leadership. And then in the second part, I will actually describe in more details what I mean by 3K leadership. Leadership starts with self-government. If you can't lead yourself, you probably can't lead anybody. You see, the concept of self-government is very critical to 3K leadership. Self-government is about being able to harmoniously manage your physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual needs. The question is, who is leading you? Now, if you think you're leading yourself, well, think again. There are forces within you, and some of them outside of you, that are actually leading you. Yes, what I mean by that is, you may think that your consciousness is leading you, but do you know what inside your consciousness? Uh, your ideas, your thoughts, your um, emotions, your spiritual awareness, your self-awareness, uh, the uh, philosophical, ideological, and socioeconomic determinant that you were exposed to when growing up. All these things are part of your consciousness. You see, consciousness is a very complex thing. No scientist can explain to you what's inside your consciousness exactly and how it works, just like your, your brain. Scientists can explain how the human brain works, partly, they can't explain 100%, they're still grappling with the complexity of the human brain, but they can't tell you why your brain functions the way it does, why you have the ideas that you have, the, the, the predispositions that you, you have. Nobody can really explain that 100%. So it's the same for consciousness. There are so many factors, so many entities, so many things that goes into it that is, it, it becomes a very complex thing. Maybe on another video we'll take time to go into it, but at this point, all I want to say is that the, there are external forces as well as internal forces that uh, affect your consciousness, which ultimately affect how you lead your life. That is a very important thing to understand because in the concept of 3K leadership, it is really important for the leader to be fully aware of uh, who they are, how they're managing their lives, and how they can then use whatever they have as assets, spiritual, intellectual, physical, financial, everything, uh, how they can use these assets to leave a legacy, to leave a mark uh, into today's generation. Now, in order to be able to do that, it is very important not only to understand what's happening within you, your, within your own consciousness, but also what are some of the forces that actually can affect your consciousness and that may jeopardize the integrity of uh, your uh, leadership uh, principles. So it's very important to be able to govern yourself uh, with integrity in order then to also be able to govern others with integrity. We'll come back on leadership and integrity uh, at another video. Uh, let me now talk about um, 
the uh, concept of 3K leadership. There are three Ks that I would like to define for you. The first K stands for kingdom-minded, the second K stands for knowledgeable, and the third K stands for kicking goals. When talking about uh, 3K leadership, we start with uh, kingdom-minded. This is a concept that is borrowed from the Bible. Now, you don't have to believe in the Bible if, if, if you don't, that's okay, but it's just to say that us human beings, we are part of a much bigger whole, a much uh, bigger scheme of things. Uh, nowadays, many people like to use the, the, the word universe, those who don't believe in God. So we are part of a much bigger universe that we don't even understand exactly how it works. Uh, what that means is as we go into the journey of leading our own life, we need to realize what position we have within the universe, where we come from, where we are, where we're going, uh, and what life is all about, what are we supposed to do with our lives. All these things are very important for anyone seeking to impact the world in a very positive way and that's where the concept of free k leadership will like to lead everyone who is interested. So we want to be able to, as we leave this world, be able to leave a mark, uh, be able to leave something that not only our children but our community and society will be proud of. So in doing that, it is very important to understand that we don't just live life for ourselves or for our families. We are at the service of a much uh, bigger reality uh, than what we can comprehend within ourselves. And we are called to contribute as much as we can to a better world through the skills, the uh, assets, and everything that we have, we want to be able to leave a positive mark uh, to today's generation when we're gone. That's the first thing about 3K leadership. Number two, knowledgeable. Knowledgeable here simply means that a leader has to be able to know the complexity of uh, today's life. Life is getting more and more complex as we live it, especially in countries such as Australia and uh, first world countries, uh, there are so many things happening and we are part of a system that is fast moving, that is quite competitive, that can even be cruel. And it is important to understand what is happening around us so that we will know how to navigate around the system and be able to impact that system because we shouldn't be just subject of the system in which we are living. We ought to be able to impact, to influence that system and we cannot do that unless we understand what is happening. So it is important for anyone who wants to be a true leader to develop their knowledge, uh, not just for their own good, but for the good of the society as well. That's number two. Number three is kicking goals. Every leadership is geared toward the realization of a particular vision, a particular destination that one wants to go and wants to take people to. And the journey can be long because nowadays people are living even much longer and there needs to be milestone in the course of that journey. Those milestones are the goals. We need to have goals that we can set for ourselves first and see how we're traveling, how we're reaching those goals or if we're missing what we're doing to eventually uh, reach them and the realization of those multiple goals along the way is likely to lead us to the final des destination. Now we may not actually reach the final destination and it doesn't really matter because the journey is more important than destination. However, that destination needs to be clear. We need to be able to articulate exactly what we would like to see in the uh, leadership that we are engaged in, both for ourselves and for the society, for those of us who may want to have some sort of positive influence in the society. On a personal level, you need to be able to say what you want your life to be, what you want to be remembered for once you're gone, what destination you would, would like to be able to reach. You may not reach it, but you can work towards it and being, be able to leave a legacy that can then potentially be taken by other people and continued until that destination is reached. Just like Martin Luther King in America, for example, uh, just like uh, Mandela in South Africa, 
they did not reach their destination, their vision in a sense that they couldn't see the society that they, they dreamed about, but they worked towards it. And even if they are gone today, but people are still now working towards that. There may be some difficulties along the way, but they've been able to articulate things that will stay with current and future generations, will continue to inspire action, to inspire um, energy and attention to be directed into. And this is very important. Well, that's it, folks, for the second video of this series of uh, publications on uh, 3K leadership. I encourage you to comment, uh, send us any feedback if you have, and watch the third video. And if you didn't watch the first one, start there first and then go to the third video and the rest of the videos that we are putting together. Until next time, stay blessed.